Hi everybody, it's Philly from Curate and Curate and today we're going on a dog walk. Between Christmas and New Year, it's been a very, very long week and these kiddos are something else. Uh, we've decided to come out for a dog walk. We've come to the dog field. It's called Blackdown Hills uh, Puppy Play Park and um, it's out in the Devonshire countryside. It has the most amazing views if you um, get the weather right. So hopefully the sun is starting to come out. Hopefully I will be able to show you some pretty views. We are out. Um, I'm wearing my hat, by the way, my Vlogmas hat and he's wearing his work coat. Cute. Um, I'm wearing my Vlogmas hat, which was a fiver from the charity shop. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll put a card up there and you can go and have a look at that. I'm also wearing my barber, oh, which was like 40 quid from oh, <laughs> my necklaces. Um, that was 40 quid from uh, Vinted and wearing my boots as well, which were another like 40 quid from Vinted. But honestly, I must have saved myself a billion pound on this outfit alone and it's very uh, it's very countryside you know no one else is com is caring or coming countryside attire the the kids are just wearing their school jackets and their wellies the dogs are not even wearing oh Doug's wearing his little coat that I made him that looks quite cute um, and the other one wearing absolutely nothing. Um, Hubby is wearing his new barber as well, which again, got it with the hat, that was 30 quid. He went shooting the other day, or I say shooting, um, it was like a clay pigeon thing that I bought for him. Um, and there's like a country estate round by us that um, does shooting. And so they went and did it. Mm, give it a six out of 10. Hang on, let me get him and he'll do a little review for you. Look at that view. Isn't that just? the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Oh, live here. Isn't that cool? Uh, firstly, Mr. Create and Curate, show us your new barber. Ooh. <laughs> Very fancy. That's it was poses for the day. A nice. Um, it was an extra large, wasn't it? But yes. it was only 30 quid, and oh, it's an absolute bargain. Came complete with a free tissue. <laughs> this my friends is what happens when you buy stuff from the charity shop can't get you and me in the really? shop I'll just, cause, or I could stand further away or you could just do you uh, what did you think of the clay pigeon shooting it was good there was little very very little instruction on what to do Jake missed all of them bar the ones that were chucked on the floor for him I hit three or four how um, many did you have each? 30 30 it was good the um but yeah they could have just organized it a bit better it could have been a little bit more inviting they could have driven you in a golf buggy up to where they had to shoot i mean we had to walk for five minutes before we got there to go and shoot in the rain the hut was a bit hutty there was only one pen <laughs> a bit hutty. well yeah like <laughs> it was wet it had a table but there was the table was wet where it leaked there was one pen between two separate groups of people scoring themselves yeah so it was, it, it was good but could have been a lot better yeah but overall i enjoyed it it was a very nice experience that my lovely wife bought me for christmas so would you would you do it again there i wouldn't do it again there unless i was i'd had practice and i was going there to practice to go somewhere else yeah so if i just wanted to have 30 30 shots because i've done it again done it before yeah i'd go up there because it's five minutes up the road yeah Okay. Well, I will leave a link down below uh, where it was, and if you want to give it a try, awesome. But also, if you want to steer clear, you know why. Yeah. Where's he gone? Call him. Look how tired Dad. he is. Dad. Who shut the gate? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know if it was open when we got here or not. It's usually open, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. There you go, it's closed when we got here. So, over there, woo, where's my finger? Over there 
is the um, Glider Devon Gliding Association or something like that. No, what is it? Say on the thing. Devon Gliding Club. Somerset and Devon Gliding Club. I apologise for the accent. But there's also a little sensory garden, which this is new. This wasn't here last time. The puppy's coming to have a look. Hey, pup, you tired out? No, no, I can keep going. He looked like he's limping. Oh, fabulous. Merry Christmas. Some wet uh, bills for you there. Oh, look. It says Merry Christmas. Some little jingly bells. <laughs> These bells are massive. Oh, look. It's a sensory garden for the dogs. Do you feel sensorised? Huh? Oh, look, those bears are cute. Have you gone to say hi to them? Oh, look, they've got little bells on them and everything. Oh, look, they've got little, um, little beehive thing. That's sweet. They've got a couple of them, actually. And I'm guessing that, so they've got herbs in that bed there, which, like rosemary and lavender. What, what's this? Hey, what's this? Look at him, don't care. Literally don't care, mum. And over there is uh, the gliders. And then on a good day, you can see them taking off and such like, oh look, the sensory gardens become packed. Who knew? Is this the place to chill? Happy New Year! We are out and about. Uh, we were not up late. You okay? Gonna wave? <laughs> we were not up late. These two, however, were up very late, <laughs> hence why they're so tired. Um, we're just off doing a little bit of shopping because I am so irritable and so fidgety so we've just had to get out of the house and the only two places that we can find that are open is the garden centre and a little um it's called the trading post and it sells um antiques and like knick-knacky bits what would you say it's called what sort of shop is it uh tat shop it's not a tat shop <laughs> well there are some bits of tat i'll show you around
to show you what I bought from the shop. So let me show you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned because I've forgotten. It, so it's my grandma's birthday. She's going to be 90 and I picked up a few bits. So these were from, oh no, these three were from the um, garden centre. So we have some cherry and blossom um, soap. Oh, it smells lovely. £7.50 though. That's a lot of money for soap, isn't it? It wasn't £7.50, it was half price. Um, and then a really cute little sort of pill pot. Isn't that really adorable? I don't know if you can see who it's gonna, there we go. Cute. Um, and then a really super long water bottle. Oh, look at the length of it. I do worry a little bit about her and, you know, being 90 and having, um, having sort of mobility issues. That panics me a little bit, but she assures me that she's absolutely fine. And this one was, oh, I forgot to say, this was seven pound and that was half price. And then uh, this one was full price, um, but it was 15 pound for that one with the cover on it as well. Don't worry, she doesn't watch this. So I'm not going to spoil her surprises for her or let her know how much I uh, spent on her. Um, the next thing, so we went to the um, trading post, which oh, I love in there so much. It's just to die for. Um, I bought her a really nice scarf. This one, um, is it silk? Maybe not. It's vintage. That's all she needs to know. It's Italian. So that was really pretty. I got that. That was fiver. Um, and then my pièce de la résistance. Now, it, as I did say, she is getting on a bit. So, you know, we're thinking of forward planning and longevity. And, you know, just in case she would... I'd happily receive this in 10 years' time, is what I'm saying. Um, this is because she has a beautiful... Oh, needs a bit of a clean. But she has a beautiful um, open fire. So I got her a log basket. He's got little feet on him and everything. Can you see? It was only a tenner. What a bargain. And also, like I said, it was happily sit nicely in my house. So just in case she goes, oh, I don't really have room for that anymore. Or, you know, the worst case, I get it back. <laughs> in like 10 years is that really mean sorry grandma I love you very very much and I want you to live for ever and ever and ever and ever and ever but at the age of 90 we'll see how long we go she's very mobile at the moment she's very compensentous which is frustrating because she often puts me in my place often tells me where to go and that I'm doing things wrong <laughs> so we're not worried about it anytime soon but um yeah those are all of her presents and then we're gonna go and see her on her birthday and um deliver them along with she's asked because i said where do you want to go for lunch and she was like mm, actually i'd rather stay in but i would like pizza right okay um a specific type of pizza that um <sighs> long story but so she so we're gonna go up we're going to take her pizza and I think I'll get some great big um, 90 balloons as well I thought they would look really cute um, um, she'll hate it she'll hate every second <laughs> of the balloons and of the presents and everything all she'll say is oh you shouldn't have spent your money you shouldn't have come all this way but we should because we love her very much another day and we are out again today we are at the donkey sanctuary and I thought I would just show you the amazing view, I've yet to see any donkeys because I think they're all um, in bed still because it's only like half ten. So <laughs> I don't know where they are, but that's okay. Everyone's enjoying walking around. Let me show you the view. That is the sea. The massive expanse of water. <laughs> One of the kids said, wait, I can't see the sea anywhere. It's like, it's right there, kiddo. Can you? It's, it's huge. You see that great big shiny thing she was like oh didn't make didn't occur to her <laughs> it was the sea isn't that adorable oh, oh, oh look they've gone in they're someone really call them noise. hey oh stop <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if they're doing that hey oh excuse me hey oh stop it hey oh donkey one donkey two stop it donkey oh hey Oh, I scared him away. The boys are very interested. Where's the other one? <laughs> He's like, oh, play buddies. 
It's early in the morning, Lula. Do you think the sun's because the sun's out? They're tired. Like it makes them sleepy. You know how sunbathing. Oh, look at that little dove in there. Can you see him getting comfy? Well, that is it for another day in the life video. Well, week in the life, really. Um, I will get back to sewing very, very soon. I've got, what have I got coming up? Oh, I've got some really lovely um, little baby presents that we're going to be making for the vicar. The vicar's having a baby. Um, and so we're going to be making a an outfit for baby and then an outfit for their little girl as well who um she loves playing with dolly so i thought i would make her some little dolly dresses to dress her dolly up and then when mum is dealing with baby she can also be dealing with her little baby as well i thought it was really really cute um so that'll be next week's video for now all it leaves is for me to say have a great week everybody bye